Hey, cooking friends and family, I found this at Costco. I am gonna attempt to make a recipe. I'm thinking like a stir fry, so let's get to it. All right, so here's the cute little package it comes in. It looks like there's two servings per little individual pouch. And so um, you can kind of see right there, there's two servings per container, about four ounces, and then they give you some little ideas on how to use it. And down here, it's telling you to open and rinse. So I'm gonna do that first, and then I'm gonna put everything in my cast iron skillet that I think would make a good little noodly stir fry. Okay, so I'm just gonna split it with my husband. In fact, looking at that, I could eat all of that by myself. I'm such a bulk eater. So we're gonna try to make it uh, stretch and bulk it up with some veggies. So this is my chicken breast. I've got a ginormous one. That's plenty for Kenny and I. And then I love this from um, Walmart. It's just a great little mix of veggies. And then I also found all these yummies. So I'm gonna do some bamboo shoots, water chestnuts, this little stir fry vegetable. Never tried any of this. Um, I do love this, coconut amino. And I'm gonna add some sprouts just to bulk it up. And then I love that too. So we're gonna just put all this in the cast iron skillet, a little bit of olive oil and saute it up. I might add an egg too, we're gonna just see what the good Lord tells me in my spirit as we get cooking here. All right, so you're gonna get a behind the scenes glimpse of how my brain works when I'm trying to make a new yummy recipe for my family. So I use my beautiful lady here, my cast iron skillet, a bunch. I leave it on my stove top, I love it that much. So there's a little bit of olive oil in, and then I've got that ginormous chicken. all my face. So I'm just going to come in and give it a little bit. So as I was walking around the grocery store, I just thought, I want some Chinese food. What can I do? How am I going to make this? So this is going in. I did drain it. That's what it looks like. And my chicken is not cooked yet, but I'm going to bulk this up now. Okay, next cast of character. I'm adding a can of, oh, hey, baby. I'm adding a can of bean sprouts, and that was very southern bean sprouts. And I drained these as well. And you can kind of see, I think that might be bean sprouts already in the other can too, but you know what? I'm a bulk eater, so more bean sprouts for us. And then I'm gonna add a can of these little guys that I found, bamboo shoots. I thought that might be fun, especially since it's just my honey bear and I, my kids are eating a yummy pizza. Y'all, this is looking so good. Do you ever like cook and think, oh, this is awesome, I'm awesome. Yes, you are. Okay, so now I'm going in with some water chestnuts and I did drain these too. I love water chestnuts. My best friend Debbie actually taught me about water chestnuts long, long ago. All right, look how good this looks, you guys. Woo, woo, woo. Okay, my chicken's still cooking in there too. Okay, then I thought at this point, I'm gonna add in the veggies. This is just great value. I'm not afraid of a store brand, especially when I'm scanning and tracking things. Um, and this one is just one of my favorites. So it's really a good one. This is 20 ounces. Watch this, going straight in. I kind of did a hacksaw job on the bag there. Look, so just bulking it up, bulking it up. Okay, this is looking really good. It smells good too. So at this point, I'm gonna hit it with some more seasoning, just whatever you like. And then I'm gonna do some of this liquid amino. I love coconut amino, but it is hard to find for me here. So I don't have time to go to a million different places. I got to have like it where I'm at and if it's not there. So then I'm gonna kind of combine all of that. And I did decide why not add eggs too, just because I'm all about protein these days, especially the older I get. And so I'm gonna do two eggs. Doesn't have to be pretty. I'm just gonna bust those babies up into the stir fry. Get this all mixed in. Okay guys, so to that, I am gonna add those healthy noodles that I showed you earlier that have been rinsed and drained. And voila, those are going in. And I'll mix that all together. So this is my little hack because my little cast iron doesn't have a lid. I'll just steal one from another pot 
and that can just kind of help those veggies get tender crisp in there and get perfectly delicious. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you, it is producing a lot of liquid. So I'm gonna try to cook it down a little bit and see if that will kind of render before I add the final touch. Okay, we are cooking now, guys. You can kind of see that liquid is really dissipating. I don't want it all to cook off because I'm gonna use that for part of my sauce. You can kind of see what I'm going for here, if you will. All right, so I just kind of keep standing close by, moving everything around. So a lot of that liquid is gone. At this point, I think, now I'm savory, honey buns is sweet. My man loves sweet. He loves sauce, let's just, he likes it saucy. Um, so I thought just for fun, I would try this on here. I would be perfectly fine leaving it savory like this, but Polynesian, who doesn't love a good Polynesian? So. I'm just gonna kinda give it a little bit at a time. Basically, you're done at this point. You're gonna mix your sauce in of choice or leave it savory like I mentioned a second ago. Check your seasoning. You can always add more seasoning, you can't take it out. And you're just gonna kinda mix that together and voila, your stir fry is complete. Y'all, it's so good. There you go. Thanks for creating a new recipe with me showing you a little insight into my brain. So I let my kids have kid choice and they chose these yummy pizzas that we found at Costco. And so normally I would serve this with maybe some egg drop soup or wonton soup and some of these yummy egg rolls that we have found. Maybe a little egg drop soup because I can whip that up easily, but I'll definitely steam up these for my man and I. So there you go guys, make sure you taste it. And voila, thanks for making a new recipe with me. God bless. Hey guys, this turned out so fantastic. I am in love. I was a little leery about those healthy noodles, but I am excited to experiment with them. Look at this big plate of food. I am a bulk eater. This is a full size plate. So based on um, what I calculated for my Weight Watcher friends, and I would definitely encourage you to put it in your recipe builder too. You can have one cup for one point. I was thinking it was going to be zero, but it came to one, so I'm going to trust the calculations there. Edamame is zero, and so I just have these little steamables, which I love, and I put extra sea salt on mine because I just love that. And then for leftovers, last night I didn't do this, but I went ahead and made a big batch of these just frozen um, shrimp spring rolls because my kids love to munch on them and that makes a good little lunch for them. So two of those are three points. So this whole plate of food is what, four points, you guys, it's awesome. And if I had time, I would have made some egg drop soup for zero points to go with it too. Cause like I said, I'm a big bulk eater. So I might add that in for um, dinner tonight. So it made six servings, um, six one cup servings for me. So enjoy i hope you try it don't be afraid of those noodles and the cool thing about costco too that i've learned is if you try something of theirs and you don't like it if you have your receipt you can take it back and to my knowledge i think they refund it so i know they have for a few things of ours so hopefully that will take some fear away from investing in some of the costly items to just give it a try so those are healthy noodles mixed in there. Honestly, I couldn't even tell they're in there. And now I'm excited to really explore and make some different things. So thanks for walking with me through my process of just creating a recipe from scratch. All right, so I've taken some of my stir fry that I made and did a little meal prep that I'm gonna put these into the freezer. So I always label them. I was able to eat a couple portions and then I'm gonna freeze a couple portions. So you can kind of see a one cup portion and an egg roll and then I label it clearly so that I know this is gonna be three points and it's two points for my egg roll, one point for my stir fry. And then I'll pop these into my deep freezer for those times when I need a quick grab and go or I need something to mix in with like those Lean Cuisine meals, just don't fill me up. But I could take one of these for an extra three points and mix it in there um, just to bulk it up or pair this with a salad. There's just endless possibilities. So definitely wanted to share this with y'all too.